So here we are. Welcome to this uh, first episode of a banished let's play. And we're going to be playing banished on hard and the mountains. Which I hope is interesting for you guys. And it's I'm actually really really appreciating this game. This game I thought it was going to be a lot more different when I, I bought this game. I had no idea I was going to be so drawn into it. It's a uh, sort of like a sim city but uh, more, more more like a dwarf fortress it's, it's survival elements uh, is what drives the game forward and Coquilla is going to be the name of our, of our town and we have mountains I'm actually going for medium mountains well let's go for small mountains so I can uh, get that achievement of which I have none for the moment the climate is harsh the disasters are on the starting condition is going to be hard, so let's check out the key. At this game, I've been playing for about uh, since it came out. I, think I bought the game like two days after it came out. I was actually watching Will 18. Uh, he, he put up uh, said some commentary on the game. And I went out and looked for it, bought it, and, and actually I, uh, I like it. I really like the game. This I, I, sometimes I, st I st stop and think that may maybe I need a little bit, ne it needs more depth for the game, but as, as it is, it's actually pretty good. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know, I've played about 60 plus hours of the game already. So let's check out the map. I like this lake we are over here. Now this is, since we're on hard difficulty, you can see we only start off with a wagon. And uh, besides that, I think that we have four families I think if, if I wait too long to start building the houses then uh, they turn into five because somebody marries somebody else okay so we're gonna start off here there's not much space here and if we move over to the left we're gonna see we don't have much space on the right we got here and we got a river so maybe, maybe that'll be like a exciting thing to do First thing I do all the time when I'm searching the map is, you know, figuring out how to lay, build the layout, something. Keep, keep, keep a, keeping a layout of my own. Okay, we can put a mine here. So this is where I'm gonna be building it. I'll put a mine here. We get some bridges across here, a few houses, a few things over here. We get a mine working up. Wow, this mountain is. I've been on other maps, other mountain maps, and actually have a few valleys going on, even if there are not many, that I can actually build something. I don't, this map doesn't give me that much space. Okay, let's start building. So the first thing we do on hard, we need to put a stockpile, because we don't have any building materials. I think I'm going to start with a few wire firewood. So I'm going to put that stockpile over there, since everyone's assigned to be a laborer. stockpile being in a random place I mean as I don't because I change the location once I get a, a decent number of uh, buildings going so let's start with that let's unpause the game as the people start to move do the things let's put the UI this is how, this is how I play it this is the things I put on sometimes I'm gonna put but not right now. I just like it here. But I, I do that one later in the game. I keep getting messages about how I'm running out of stuff. Also, I like to turn off this pop up notification because I keep glancing over here and I, and I see what's happening with my stores. But uh, if I get this one, it's going to be bleep bleep for the first like three, four minutes. 
advanced gameplay. And I'm gonna speed this up. To get people cutting down trees and whatever. So we need food. We need food and we need houses. And we need firewood. That's the priority for our game is, is that. And since the climate is harsh, we're gonna be burning through that firewood a lot quicker. I think we have enough to start building the house, so I'm gonna lower the speed to access church to find uh, think about a layout. Okay, so where do I want the houses? I'm gonna have a bridge. So my line come up here. Well, let's check where can I build the bridge first. If I can get a bridge here, can I No, I can't. Wow, I forgot I can't build diagonal. Stone road. Wow. Now, okay, so I can put a bridge here. I'm gonna put a bridge here. Yes, I can put a bridge here. Okay, so house is gonna be here. Or where this stock farm is. So I'm gonna be building a road. Like that. I'm gonna start placing down houses. decent amount of food for now, but it's gonna go really, really low on our supplies once the houses are built. Um, we should start seeing people dragging the construction materials from the houses. Let's prioritize these two houses first. First house done. I think yeah. Four houses is all I need. Okay, we're starting. People are starting to want firewood. Get that house done, please. Oh, we don't have stone. There we go. We have all everything. Builders should start getting onto it. It's about time. Now, two eggs. So, what will we need now is to. Actually, need a four hole. This one's bigger, but it's too far. It's too far for us right now. But th what, what I like to do is let's put this on that. Run across the dirt road here. Down the bridge. I, I like to create like a little zone. Make this zones 
where I get a, a herbalist, a gatherer, a forester, and a hunter. And don't put and I don't put anything else around around them. That way, the, there is always a forest going on, so I actually get things for uh, actually get herbs out of it. I get I have stone. Always going to be giving us food, which is what we need right now because we ran out of food. Wow. So, wait, well, it's going to buy us some time in the fishery. Bridge is built.
this is so not a good start. But this is what you are probably expect on a hard difficulty game. Uh, but I think that my mistake here was going for gathering all the resources here instead of going equally, you know, to gather just this area and start building and so on and so forth. Fishermen, I, I don't actually use them a lot, but they're, they're good, you know, they, they, they buy time at the beginning of the game for, for what you want to build first, actually, and not only on art, so I'd say this is like the rule if you want to play this game, is that you actually have to go for the gatherer's hut as fast as you can. Because it actually gives you diversity of foods, which keeps the people happy, and uh, they actually give you a lot of food. They give you like over a thousand food every season if you got enough forest going on. So, for that matter, the gatherer is hot as the way to go. But I, I it took too long to build it. That's you see what happens. But playing on hard, on a harsh climate, this is what you can expect. Summer now, still building the gatherers hut. People going back and forth. I got hungry people again. This fisherman doesn't have any food. He fishes for food. Wow, look at this. This children. stockpile near the warehouse, but this stockpile I'm going to move from here, I'm going to place something else entirely in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it close to the mines that we're going to be having here. Oh, I can't, I can't place it close to there. Okay, let's pause the game. Here's the kid is. It's the degrees Fahrenheit. You can place it on Celsius. I have Fahrenheit because it's what I'm more used to. This happens a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug in the game or something. But when you have someone that's either starving or freezing to death, and they can't do anything about it, I mean, they, there's no food, there's no uh, firewood. What they do is that they they try to keep on working, but they stop immediately. And when they when that happens, and they go to the stockpile, as you can see here, they start grabbing things and going back and forth and just creates this stupid mess around. Alright. Keep going. Things are going. I'm gonna need to prioritize this uh, woodcutter. Got two people starving. Okay, I can't do the second.
Another one instead. Two died. Lost the builder. No, I lost the builder. One died. I was reading here, I saw two yellow things. Terrible. This is a let's play of. This I think is to show you how things can go horribly wrong, wrong unmanaged. And I've been playing this game for about 60 hours, and I actually. And I get them, you know. I, I lose games sometimes, sometimes I win them. And this time I lost horribly. Everyone died. Some starvation, some froze to death. I hope I'm the next 